good afternoon and thank you for joining me for today's webinar, Measuring SLOs with the Test Objective Report. Over the next 20 minutes or so, I'll be walking you through a brief overview of how to use the Test Objective Report to measure your SLOs. If you happen to have any questions throughout my session, please feel free to chat those into the Q&A box located at the bottom center of Zoom and I'll be sure to reserve some time at the end to address your questions. And with that, I'll go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and share my screen with everyone. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to sign into my instructor account here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account here. And I'm gonna click into my gradebook. Here. So I'm going to go into the reports page here and know that the web test objective report can be used to create customized course learning outcomes and generate full reporting data on whether students are meeting your course objectives. So I've already logged into my account. I've gone into my grade book and I've selected the reports tab. In the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll see if I scroll down, there'll be the web test objective report. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click that. The first thing you're gonna want to click when going in is create and manage web test objective. Then what you're gonna do is down here, either at the top or the bottom, you can press create new objective template. And then you can go ahead either again at the top or the bottom, create new objective. Now I'm gonna create one of my course objectives by first naming, naming the objective. So I'm gonna name this one multiplication. And then what we're gonna do from here is you're going to show what test you would like to have in this. So I'm going to click this first test, my first test here, and my second and third test as well. So you can select as many tests as you'd like for this. And then what you're going to do is list questions for selected tests. So what's this going to do is going to bring up all the questions that you have in your test, and they will appear right down below. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the check boxes next to the test questions that correspond with the learning objective that we have created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click some of these questions here that go along with my test objective. And once you have selected those check boxes that correspond with that learning objective, I'm going to save and create another objective. So I'm gonna save up here and it's gonna say that my saves or my changes have been saved. And you can do this as many times as you want or have however many objectives that you would like to create. Um, so once you've created all those course objectives and all those learning outcomes that you've reported for the course, you're ready to go. So now I'm finished with selecting those questions and getting everything ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to name my objective template. So I'm gonna go and click back to web test objective template here. And I'm gonna go ahead and name my template. So I'm gonna name this Math 101 Learning Objectives. And then I'm going to select all the different um, all the different objectives that I would like to add in this template. So I'm going to add this one and this one, and I'm going to save my changes. And my changes have been saved. So from here, what you can do is once we've created these learning objectives and students have taken those corresponding web tests, we can run the web test objective report. So first I'm going to go back into reports. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the web test objective again. 
and I'm going to click view report. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our web test objective template that we just previously created from the drop down menu. So you'll see here's my objective template that we just created. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select the sections for which we want to run the report. So I'm going to go down here to my sections and I'm also going to select the section. So I'm going to select all the sections I would like to have this report run for. And then what I'm going to do is go up here is I'm going to select the mastery level for this. So this one is set at 100. I'm going to set it at 80% for these. And once you do that, what you can do is you can so what we can do is we can analyze this report. So once you do all this, you can click analyze down here at the bottom, and this will end up showing you a report of students who met or did not meet each of these course objectives. If you select get my report, which is right here, you will receive an export of your report in Excel for further analysis. The report you receive will display the section name, the student name, objectives you created for the template, and the mastery percentage obtained for each of the objectives. So overall, that is everything you need to know for the web test um, objective report overview. Um, if you have any questions, now would be a wonderful time to ask them. We do have a few extra minutes here in our session today. Um, so if you have any, please make sure to put those in the q and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, the Web Test Objective Report is a wonderful resource that we have available to you in Hawks. And if you have any questions about it and how we can use it, I'd be more than happy to answer those questions. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen. And if any of you guys have any questions, again, please feel free at the bottom of your screen to put it in that Q&A box and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Does anyone have any questions? I am not seeing any questions come through right now, but if you do have any, please feel free to go ahead and add them to that question and answer box at the bottom of your Zoom screen. So it is looking like we don't have any more question and answers coming through. Um, and I definitely wanna be respectful for all of your times, but I thank all of you for taking the time to connect with me today to learn a little bit more about this report. Um, like I said, I'm happy to stick around for a few more minutes to answer any questions. Um, so if you do have any, please feel free to send them in now. I'll be more than happy to connect. Um, but if you do wanna connect any further, please reach out to your designated training and support representative, and they will be more than happy to walk you through any of this and help you with this in the future. Um, so with that, if no one else has any questions, I'll go ahead and end this webinar. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you so much.